Hello everyone, and welcome back to the stream where we are going live here. We are on the second map of this round between the second and third seed, Mixed Up versus XCS, and already we are jumping into the action. I got my eye onto Squitter Sky High, who's dancing around the middle point. He is over now by the rock. In comes a bomb from Mela, who's on the platinum. Alpha grabs a kill off the Sky High. Mela with a second onto Enigma. 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 And down goes a whole lot of mix-up players. Only a Seagull left alive. 65 HP grabs a frag onto Alpha and is somehow, in Seagull fashion, managing to escape. Randall's gonna put an end to that, Yuki, and right away off the bat, quick, very, very quick, both in us and XCS. That just seemed like mix-up had the right idea, just pushing along that right side, just trying to bully Bedonski and just... Unfortunately, they all just ate the same damage and just got absolutely destroyed. I'm pretty sure Bedonski did like 10 million damage there. And that jump by Mela kind of just sealed the fate of Mixup. But yep, they're going to be on that last point. They're going to be already setting up that sentry gun on that left side. Meanwhile, Sky Eye on that sniper rifle class that does the pointy click thing. But, so, but Uber is used by Rando really early, jumping on that sentry gun, taking it out real smart, real quickly. And play is flying in from Exodus as well. But not going to flash on it. There we go. Both soldiers dying. That is just the end of that chapter. Actually, no, as I said, that both soldiers dying. I thought Platinum was a soldier again. What am I thinking? And that was just an extremely quick round by Exodus, a very, very methodical play, I'd like to say, Bloodsire. Yeah, I wonder if Mixum knows it's live, like we were wondering. But, uh, no, here they go for the second middle, and I'm going to take a look at Platinum, who does a awesome rollout to middle. Gets those, those switches and ramp slides in there. Mailer already on top of the boxes, putting a whole lot of hurting into Platinum, who's down to 26 HP and has to back it up. Switch it over to Seagull, who's on the box with TLR. In come the other members of the mix-up squad. Tyler bombing now on the box, and both Red Soldiers on the right side, trying to put spam into the blue team. Enigma gets the first frag of the middle. Adanti is going to reciprocate onto Seagull. It is anybody's middle right now, as both teams are playing it much more sustained, much more stagger, as Alpha collects another onto Platinum. That's going to open up the door, but no, in come the mix-up scouts. Squitter and Enigma take down Alpha. And Rando going big, takes down Sky High and Enigma before killing himself. He's like, I'm done here. And now we have the XCS Medic, the last one alive on middle. Forces the Uber? Maybe the Uber was popped. Uh, but he goes down. And Mela coming in the action. It's not done yet. Seagull's going to clean him up, though. And finally, I'll be able to breathe as Mixup are going to count this point. You know, you definitely need that breather because I'm sure there's going to be some intense action coming up soon. But um, just like the comment on that mid a bit, it just seemed like... Completely different rollout, just completely Exodus, completely off guard. They were expecting that left push by a majority of mix up, but it didn't happen. Bedonski wasn't able to get much damage on those scouts, and so mix up scouts were just able to do a lot of damage, mopping up after that fight. But um, looks like mix up are going to get this second point practically uncontested. Exodus play is extremely weak right now. Alpha, meanwhile, setting up that sentry gun on that last point. But um, slight uber advantage in favor of mix up. It should be enough to still use, but. It's going to be hard breaking into that heavy and engineered defense. So we'll just have to see where they take this Uber. Taking this lobby side right now. And they were calling the hills to get Uber. Does it get Uber through that lobby right? Runs into that sentry gun. Platinum just saying, hello heavy, how you going? Welcome to Stinkies and Pipes. But the heavy saying, hello, welcome to Minigun. Counter Uber coming out from Exodus. Mopping up a lot of mix-up players right now. Tyler escaping through that rollout path area. Enigma though, strolling through the backup area. Hasn't been spotted yet. First finally gets spotted. Tyler with a nice kill on Bedonski. Enigma on this last point, seeing what he can do, trying to catch that medic. Doesn't get that kill on him. And Fragile still alive. Meanwhile, a lot of mix-up players having extremely delayed spawns right now, Bloodsire. So, yep. Exodus looking pretty good. But as I say that, maybe Seagull gearing up for a jump soon. It looks like he's about to do that. He does jump over to the uh, shutter side. Now he's got a huge bomb trying to take down Alpha, and that's the good thing about Seagull. He's going to take out anybody that he can to give his team the advantage, but Rando is all over him with rockets, and Seagull's going to visit the respawn instead. Uber's now in favor of XTS by about 19%, and they are moving out to middle. We see Platinum with a buff, putting a lot of spam into that choke, and the mix-up uh, defense here looks like they're going to be too dug in for XTS to get anything going, and they're going to think better of it, make sure they get that Uber before they push. Looks like it's coming in on that IT side. They see a scout put a rocket into him. Let's take a look at Randolph, see what he can do with this Uber. It is popped on him, and he jumps right away. The problem with his Uber pushes last time was that he jumped too far away from the medic, in comes a fragile though to finally get him with that buff, and the mixed up Uber is in time. No frags except Platinum went down during that Uber fight. 
We have a bomb from me. On to Harbour. Harbour at 51 HP is gonna go down through a Badonski Siki who dunked it in there or, or shot it in there to get him now. The ball is in XTS's court. They are all over the middle. Decimate takes out TLR. Now he's getting caught out by both scouts. Can he grab a frag, Yuki? Or is he gonna die? Or is he gonna stay alive? In comes Squitter, but Badonski uh, gets him too. To make it just in time as well. Well played by Exosa. I ran into the right idea coming into that, that post super fight, but unfortunately. He was, I guess, the lapse in communication there. He came in at the wrong timing. Everyone just shot at him as opposed to his team all coming at the same time. But a good thing is, Exodus is still having this second point. They didn't get rolled, and looks like it's just a stand hold. But we've got a Chris Krieg on hard blue, so, you know, Chris Krieg versus normal Uber on Exodus. But advantage isn't that big, but it looks like it is going to be building up, you know, to a decent advantage just because they're building that. Uber charge or crit screen, I should say, on that scout. 90%. They're going to be gearing up for this push. What are we going to see? We're going to see a skill. See how jump straight around that choke. Does fly high into the sky. Platinum coming in behind. Uh, it looks like Podolski read it pretty well, just sparing that choke with those pipes just as they came around that. And that was just disastrous. Well played by Exertus. Just absolute counter to that crit push. But these two scouts are still alive. Enigma and Sky are going to be causing a bit of havoc. For Exodus, but no, nope, those two scouts are definitely an alpha coming for the cleanup, getting between them a total of this five kill with uh, Podolski getting that extra kill in between. And just wow, I just believe how well Exodus read that. Just Podolski's position was perfect, just near that sealed door. As soon as the crits was popped, the seagull jumped around the choke. Podolski was like, Hello, have some pipes, have some stickies, and just shut down that push. Yeah, usually a very successful play for Mixup. Looks like XCS was onto it right away. Siegel was trying to turn the heads for the crits to be effective. But like you said, Rando and uh, and uh, Bdansky not having it, we're able to spam out the medic. No crits kills in that crits push. So uh, we're gonna have the switch back for Platinum. He is back on the metal. They're gonna pop it. And they are all over second. Cap time with that scout. As the Uber tries to push up into rollout, but look at Mixup coming in over on the bat side and over on lower. They are at 70% and they're just going to go for it, trying to bully out the Exertus team. Two frags for Sky High, another frag for Sky High, and Enigma joins the party. Four down, only Decimate left alive. He's in rollout, trying to do everything that he can, but no. Enigma grabs a second for himself. The Uber in the meantime still building at 85% and Mixup forcefully claiming their second or moving on to second. Ah, uh, middle. Mela sitting on this midpoint here, gonna try and get a force for Harbour. Harbour, here's that rocket jump, gets away nice and cleanly, only takes 50 damage for his trouble. And uh, just to comment on that last fight, I mean, I felt it was okay that Exodus used Uber and they were just gonna cap the point, but I just felt their positioning was really poor. They were extremely fought, but fought after the Uber, they didn't have really a, any sticky set up, and Mixup just entered from the lobby entrance really quickly, but it looks like Mixup pushing him through this top battlements area. Harbour, doesn't force, doesn't use Uber and Pyro, excuse me, as it looks like Sky High does drop as well. Ando with a nice air shot, dunking Seagull, and mix up, yep, gonna make the smart call, just back out with that Uber, and try and just hold this midpoint. But, um, 80% Uber on Exodus, looks like there's a flank coming from this IT area, I believe that was Mela, and Exodus just flying in with a complete surround on mix up. But, uh, they do kill Exodus Medic, Fragile, as well as Badonski, so that Uber advantage that they were gonna have, you know, insurmountable 100%, is turned into a measly even uber exchange really good pinch play from the xts scouts and mela the scouts came in from it mela was over at the choke and put mix up in a vice were able to drop a whole lot of members they've won middle because of it you can see the medics did go down but that's going to allow fragile the opportunity to switch to crits creek once again i like this change and i like seeing the crits creek i haven't seen it for some bit in some competitive tf2 but it's making a resurgence you see a seagull high flying back into the stewart area as mix up tries to push in while he's distracting enigma takes down decimate in danger is the combo for exerters is a scout on the fragile but he dunks in to the sewer at 59 percent crits creek it's going to meet up with badonski and have to hightail it out of middle they don't have the Uber and bodies to fight it. I think Xerxes should definitely be fighting this. Scout demo versus Scout Soldier. As yet, Alpha flying and trying to get some good damage on. Forces Platinum all the way back as well as Tyler and Halber. They're just going to be backing off towards that choke. But it's funny. Xerxes had a crit screen that entire time and didn't even get it until just after the mix up theirs. As it looks like the crit is coming out. It's used, but Halber makes sure to keep all his players alive with this Uber charge. Very important. Make sure that crit screen gets no frags. And as I say, that doesn't get any. But um, Alpha with the post crits kill, getting a kill on Sky High. Tyler coming in through the sewer area as well. So that trade is there. Scout for scout. 
not really much going to be happening right now as, I don't know, maybe Seagull gearing up for some, getting a buff, but um, no, he's just going to be poking at IT there, so we've got a little bit of a stalemate and wait for that, you know, crit streak to come through with Exertus. Yeah, you pointed it out, the crit streak really isn't building that much faster than the metagun, and I think that's a symptom of Fragile buffing too many people, they really just need to get the advantage, because uh, they pop the uber already, and that's how you run crits when the other team has uber, you go in, you make them pop their uber with the crits, and then you use your, your faster build advantage to re-crit them when they don't have uber, but right now they're dealing with an 8% win, though the crits is popped, uh, is it going to go? No frags with the crits, and now they're just gonna lay out those crit stickies, hope to get something. The red uber is up, and nice air shot from Randall, followed by a shotty to pick out Seagull from the sky. He will not be flying any longer in this life. Now the red team, the Enigma and Tyler, are gonna take out Randall and Decimate. Podonsky gets a kill onto Enigma, but TLR bombing, the choke takes him down. Mix up have retained control of the second point. Fragile still caught out on that crit. Might die, it's not gonna be the worst if he dies because we'll be able to swap ubers. Um, but he's staying alive right now, 14 HP. Sky High is gonna finally put an end to him. That cap actually successfully done by Alpha. Well played by him. They have to actually you know, read that mix up plays. We're all just going for trying to get the midpoint. And Alpha just hiding behind. I mean, sure, he baited his team, but he got the back cap. So he bought his team some time. And now they're on uh, the midpoint defending. But they have a massive uber disadvantage. And I believe it's about 70% by the time Fragile is actually able to kill anyone. Got a soldier hiding in the sewer area. Mailer does take down Hard Blue. So, as I was saying, describe the uber advantage. The medic does seem to get picked. So, I should say that all the time because I'll see medics die a lot. But um, mix up still don't, not, in, not wanting to like give up this fight too easily as a lot of frags coming in their favor. Three players down on Exertus right now. I mean, and Fragile's got no one to heal. He's already back at his Ford spawn. Just good execution by mix up, just great teamwork and just good focus fire. Just taking down those players just sequentially and just making it look easy. Again, we are only in the second round. This is a highly contested round here. Uh, very back and forth, tug of war style. I like to see that. Do you see finally the Fragile is building out that Uber with Alpha, who's got the Sword Boston Basher reskin, uh, hurting himself to get a quicker build on the Uber, and that is going to net them about a 40% advantage. Mixup's going to join the party with the Uber build, it looks like. Oh, not really, they're just chilling. So they are going to be down, I wonder... Alpha sniper now. Oh, and Alpha, well, it's questionable, because they have such a big Uber advantage. I don't think they knew, Yuki, because otherwise this would be... You have to go off like a 35% Uber advantage, there's no reason not yeah, to, but... Either that or they're parking. Yeah. No, it could be parking, but with the one round, that's... I mean, I think there's still a lot of time left in this half, but uh, I guess, you know, Alpha's on sniper, so they're going to have to work that pick. He's charged up, but... The consequence of that is you've allowed Mixup to get their Uber, and they are on offense, so you never want to give offense the team uh, the chance to get Uber. A scout is going to push Alpha hard. He's down to 6 HP, and that's going to open up the door for Mixup coming in. Wow. Siegel grabs on a Badonski. They actually trade for each other, so Siegel for Badonski. I don't know about that trade. Siegel's powerful, but Demo Men are very, very good. Squitter gets Mela, and things are quickly folding here for Exertus. They are going to have to pop, but they are out on an island all over point. They're about to be in a sea of red, and a Fragile and Randall are forced to disconnect, and that's going to be it for the Fragile. He goes down, Randall goes down, Randall takes out Tyler, Yuki, but not for much. That was just perfect play by mix-up. They just knew that Exodus are going to be playing near that sniper, and like, it was also misplayed by Exodus. Like, mix-up will allow to just walk through that sewer, jump the soldier, scout walk at the sniper, and just crush Bodonski and Alpha, sniper and demo man respectively. As Decimate coming in with this heavy late play, but a lot of bodies dying for Exodus. Lots of bodies and mix up on the point, and they're going to cut that with ease. All those cleanup crit kills in humiliation round. No stat padding there. Just clinical play by mix up after, you know, some little stumbles here, just some hiccups, but they're finding their footing on this map. Taking a look at Badonski this middle, who also hits his rollout, so uh, excellent rollouts from both these demos. Sees the uh, Platinum on the point, he's going to put Sticky into him. There's a Roamer he's going to have to deal with, I believe that's a Seagull, who gets cleaned up by Alpha right away. This is XDS's chance to close the gap, push on to mix up, and they're doing just that. The soldiers are bombing in, we have Badonski moving across the point. Sky High is going to take down Melo, though Badonski cleans up Tyler. So we have the scouts for mix up running amok. Squitter goes down, Enigma goes down. Only Platinum and a Seagull, who's a respawn, are left alive, so Platinum's gonna have to jump out of there with 41 HP and a very convincing win for XDS. They got that entry frag on a Seagull, and they did exactly what they needed to do by closing it. Look at the sticky trap on the point! It's spotted by Decimate, so everyone can wipe the sweat off their brow. The scouts are okay, and they're capping the point. 
Seagull getting picked just there, even before the uber push, like, no shenanigans coming out from him, so Xero's probably going to have a pretty solid uber. Enigma isn't even crit healed yet, so he's going to be on a decent amount of health, but didn't get his full 450 that he would have liked, but never mind. Good cleanup coming from Mixup. Just clean those players. Fragile with the crossbow kill on Harblue. Big salutation to you there. As Bodonski trying to get some love here, trying to get some pipes, doesn't happen for him, and just sold deflected push by mix up. I mean, they lost their medic, but it doesn't really matter because Exodus aren't even really fully building right now. I'm happy that a fragile abandoned uh, Bodonski there, and I don't say that sarcastically. Like, he, there might have been some medics who tried to get a miracle arrow onto Bodonski, but really, Bodonski was dead no matter what his health was. Fragile, recognizing that being the veteran medic that he was, just hightailed it out of there. Now he's got a 16% uber advantage, he's up to buff his members, and they maintain control of the second point. So good job from the Fragile, not trying to go with the hero plays. Uh, you gotta know, if you're a good player, you gotta know when to be a hero and when not to be a hero. And uh, no matter how good he was in that situation, uh, Bodonski was a goner. So good job from the Fragile. As we see, Sticky Traps are up for both teams. The Ubers are being built by Enigma Hardcore, because they're trying to catch up to that uber. Um, but it is up for the blue team, and they pop it actually out of lobby. They are going quick. They thought they had a bigger advantage than they did because... Oh, and Harbour at 97% dies to a Badonski sticky, and this is the push for Exertus. They get right on the point. They put me in check because Harbour didn't have it, and they executed it perfectly, Yuki. And they take the round, and they are up 2-1. to one. Well, that's what you gotta do with an uber advantage, even if it's like a slight amount. On this map, I feel especially just a flying demo man, just flying into the other team, just trying to offload as much damage as you can, and hope your team can clean up afterwards, but enough of that, we've got a new mid fight on our hands. But honestly, getting, you know, well, it's about an even exchange in, uh, for both teams right now for damage, but Seagull on this left lane, trying to get some good damage on that crate, he's practically uncontested, but Harbu does get taken down by a long range sticky by Badonski. Barely getting taken down though, so that's DM classes in favor of Exodus, but just may get the kill on TLR, but not before, or just before rather, excuse me. Uh, Alpha does get taken down, so at least Bodonski and Fragile do get out, but um, seems like, it's like, sure, we killed the medic, that's great, no heals, but, you know, mix up, we're up that DM class, they were still pretty healthy, and they were able to win that mid, so, I mean, they're not going to be too happy that their medic died, but at least they're on mid, and Exodus are going to take a decent amount of time before they push on this mid fight, so, plenty of opportunity for mix up to do some silly shenanigans with Seagull, maybe going behind and killing 10 players. There's a certain shift you have to make at middle when you kill a power class like a seagull they did on the last mid or a medic. When you kill a power class, you can pinch and you can get aggressive right away because they're down uh, damage capabilities, they're down their ability to flank on you. But when you kill the medic, you still have five power classes to shoot at you, five people with guns that are going to do damage. So you got to play it a little differently. XTS did not do that uh, and they lost middle because of it. But keeping the fragile alive, they're able to push back into the middle point. Uh, both teams are at full strength, but XTS have that uber, and now they have an entry frag, a good one, onto the red team's demo. And Alpha collecting that frag is going to be able to cap the point along with his team. They're moving up with that uber. Mixup was able to, to recognize the situation, back out and get the uber themselves, but being down the platinum, they're going to be hurt here. In comes the blue uber. Red uber also popped. Frag's trying to be traded, Tyler taking down Alpha, mix up trying to pressure and maintain control of the second point as Platinum rejoins the fight. XTS lose two players, Yuki, and they're going to be hard pressed to defend. Grand over committed way too hard on the Uber, she just got out as soon as it was but our melee coming in for the jump does get completely shut down by Enigma. Actually, not completely as probably was on 10 health, so good escape by him, but um, looks like both teams' medics are going to live, mix up are going to retake that midpoint though, and even Uber situation, so... Once again, we have Exodus defending this second point, and we'll have to see what they can do this time. Yeah, we're going to have to see what they can work out. Some sort of a uh, better defense than what we saw the last time when they had that sniper who just got ganked in front of five of their teammates. Decimate playing a little clever, a little cheeky at the choke there. We do see Alpha also in IT room trying to just put eyes on that, scout it out as scouts are wont to do. Uber up now for both teams. Sticky Trap over for on Choke from Platinum, and it's just a defensive, get position, find out where the enemy team is, get good spam on them, and see what's going to happen. Decimate makes it happen for the Exertus team. That's their frag. We do see Mela and Alpha trying to work through that IT area as the blue team comes in Choke. There's that Sticky Trap to contend with from Platinum. Does anybody know where it is? Rando finally spots it. Almost disastrous for Exertus. Looked like Fragile was going to come out right into it, but he did not. Red Uber is popped. Blue Uber still milking away. Finally, it's popped. And that's going to be an advantage for the blue team. They just need to make sure they get the frags, Yuki, as in they come. 
Yeah, just uh, late counter pop coming from Exodus. Melee does get a kill on Tyler and Decimate with a kill on Hard Blue. Uh, nice last shot by Rando taking down Seagull with the help of the pistol of the scout. But um, a bit of players on mix up. Platinum on 10 health, the island does get taken down. And Vonsky trying to get some spawn camping going here. Really aggressive job. I really like this. Gonna catch you know, the rest of the uh, mix up spawns as they try and get here. And just definitely a good way to really like that play. Just smart play. And he's gonna probably almost be able to cap this point, but he should be prepared to jump away because he's on 100 health. Yep, positioning himself right, meets up with his scout partner, back straight towards the choke, and he shouldn't be dying here unless Seagull decides to give chase, which he might do. But uh, no, he does get out in time, and I'm um, sorry to drop you there, and looks like we're gonna have a bit of stalemate, so you can go on right ahead. Didn't mean to interrupt, but I was going to say since he's hopped on the scene, Badonski's showed a high level of game sense reminiscent of Banny at times. Definitely a nice play from him there. And with Sticky, he's, he's been able to play Scout and able to play Demo at high, high level. Uh, a great player, Badonski, getting it done for his team, but they don't follow it up. They don't come behind him. As a result, Mixup is able to force them back out. They never cap the second point. So now, Exertus back on middle. Need to build out that Uber and do it all again. Badonski now over with a Sticky Trap in IT. Like to see a scout or soldier try to bait somebody into that uh, so they can open up the door for their team to push here. Yeah, Alpha got running back to spawn, swapping to that sniper, so we're going to see this sniper play yet again. I wouldn't, I don't know how long this is left in this half. I wouldn't be surprised if it's not too long, so I guess it'd be okay for Jules to be just slowing down, parking the bus, waiting until they get a decent pick, and then just uh, seeing if they can push off that. As uh, Alpha picking through his poking, rather, should I say, through the sewer, seeing what he can find, maybe a loose scout. Doesn't find him. Now he's gonna switch to this choke. Buying that demo man. That is platinum. Sees him up on that point there. Doesn't get the shot off on him. It's a good spam coming out. Does miss a shot on platinum, unfortunately. Hits another one on there. And uh, just gonna rotate through this IT area now. See what he can do. Uh, gonna see. I'm gonna watch. Uh, switch to Seagull now. See what he's gonna do. See if he's gonna be like, you know what? I don't really want to be picked out of a sniper all day. Let's do that thing earlier where we just like landed on that sniper and just killed him in front of his team like it was nothing. But um. Sniper going through this sewer door, still watching Seagull, what's he gonna do? Just waiting for a buff, nothing really too exciting now, just a lot of spam battle. Uh, the combo and Sniper still in that sewer door, but nope, they're gonna rotate away. Uh, I don't know, the honest is kind of on the mix up here right now. Just I, yeah. a bit in the sewer, but nope, they're not really doing anything much. So. I believe they're getting ready to push, the squitter had ran back to spawn, switched to Sniper, and immediately changed back to Scout. Uh, so he probably got the call that, listen, don't go Sniper, because we are getting ready to move here. Uh, but the mix-up ha are, are, have not done that yet. Still holding at the choke. Platinum is going to grab a kill onto Alpha. So now they have to go. Uh, like you said, the ball is in their court. They are down the round in the half. And time is ticking away. So in at the choke is TLR. I'm going to switch to him. See what he can do. He's the red pocket. Is he going to get the Uber? He's very, very hurt. And he gets killed by Badonski. Getting dropped by a hard blue is the pocket for mix-up. That's going to put the advantage in favor of XTS, who are jumping their soldiers in. We have Rando in on to Platinum. He takes him down. Now come the blue team over at Choke. Enigma and Squitter are going to team up to take down Rando. But the blue team with a vengeance. Enigma is going to take down the fragile and halt all sorts of pushes. Medic and Enigma left alive for mix-up. Can Enigma do it? He's on Badonski. Badonski with 24 HP. Enigma gets him. A seal comes in, takes down Mela. Enigma again on Decimate. And in comes Tyler with 65 HP to defend the Spire. Tyler takes down Alpha, and that's going to put a grinding halt to the XDS push. And Yuki, what happened? I uh, just I just felt that Melee didn't really do much there. Like, he just did like a cool like tr double or triple rocker jump in, which was great. And people used a bit of ammo on him. But after that, he didn't really do much damage. Like, he just kind of just shot some rockets and kind of hit some air. But um, I wouldn't say that was just it. It was just some poor play on Exodus overall. But looks like we're going to find this mid uh, part on this midpoint going on. It's a very valid defense by Exodus, but Fragile does get taken down by some stray rockets by Seagull. Uh, Tyler does get taken down in return, but you know, this game does uh, fight to slow down. It is in favor of Mixup. They do have those heals, so they just need to chill and get some heals. But uh, they have some crits, Krieg. 80% on Harbour. This scout is in on Platinum. Gonna, is he going to take him down? Platinum on 80 health. Uh, flying Badonski, there's a demo man flying in, does take down Harbour and does help take down Platinum as well. So the cap is going to come out for Exodus, but uh, Seagull is at Exodus' last point. <laughs> now he's trying to find his way through this IT area. He's going to get there eventually. I wonder if that's going to give Exodus room to actually just, you know, catch Seagull off here. Smartly enough, uh, Fragile sitting in that force one because he knew Seagull was behind. And I think Seagull is going to go from last to last. 
I'm, I'm watching some TFC happen right now. He's going from base to base, actually just getting out. I just don't believe what I'm seeing here. As Mixup contesting this second point, but obviously he does get destroyed. And just Tyler, but that favors uh, Mixup more just because that Devon Man disadvantage down for Exertus. As uh, Melo flies in, tries to get some work done on Harblue, doesn't take him down. So good play advantage for Mixup. They do have that Devon Man down on Exertus. Flying in is that Soldier, Seagull. Does get taken down though. Uh, so Mix's push should probably be stunted here, Bloodsire, as yep. Mix up are actually poking. Steagle doing the live action version of that gift by Whisker Biscuit where a seagull just flies all around process. Uh, nice jumps from a seagull. He does go down in the end. Ubers are going to be just about equal. You see XTS in control of the middle and in control of the half by a score of 2-1. to one. So Mix up need to get something going here. Platinum with the buff. 220, 229, 225 HP is going to peak choke just a little bit, but Randall's going to come check it out for himself. Put some rockets into the mix-up team. And with a reluctance to push, actually XTS now massing by the choke. Time might just be running out as they aren't going. And it looks like they're waiting on their back foot, seeing if they can stop whatever mix-up has planned. Well, like, as I was saying, I'm pretty sure the timer has to be running down by now. I mean, like, once again, Alpha doing this sniper play and Exodus are holding mid. They're looking pretty content to just sit here and wait for Mix Up to just make a mistake and push out into them. I mean, like, Tyler's just going to be peeking his choke a bit, seeing what, if he can find out anything. But all he's going to find out is that they're parked on mid, boys. This sucks. We're down a point. I hate this game. Yep, absolutely. And uh, the bus is parked. Sniper out for Alpha. I got my eye on him. He's taking the charge for a walk. See some spam, so he's think, going to think a bit better of it. And I don't know if Mixup spotted him. Now, when you're on Sniper, the first shot is always the most important. Because that's the shot that no one knows that you're there. But uh, not to be, he goes down to a Badonski pipe. Tyler is going to take down Alpha. No, Badonski takes down Tyler. Ah, Badonski took, took down somebody. Let's take down Tyler. Alpha did go dead, though, in that exchange. Seagull is going to take down Badonski. Two up now for Mixup. Only Enigma at 26 HP and Platinum at 175 they are in danger of giving up this second point here. Yeah, it was actually a horrible uber drop there. Just a nice pipe by Bernonski. Just smashed him in the head. But we've got Enigma with the flank. And Platinum playing as well. Trying for some miracle plays. Really good uber from the Fragile. Trying to keep his team alive. Platinum does get taken down. But Reno does get taken down in return. Just from some long range spam rockets from Tyler. Tyler valiantly still defending this point. Uh, despite his demo man being down. And Enigma taking down the Alpha. So Exodus just... Showing some, you know, mistakes right now, like, despite Mixup being down to Demo Man, Mixup is still extremely aggressive because it's like, hey, we still got two scouts, still got two soldiers, they're pretty good players, I think you've heard of them, and we're still going to try and fight, but, nope, they're going to be forced back to their second point again, and got another little stalemate, and, uh, I don't know, it's looking pretty good for Mixup, the timer's still running down, as Mailer jumps around this choke, flying into the Demo Man Platinum, doesn't get into 50 health, doesn't get taken down, uh, Seagull was down during that time, so that trade was, I guess, fair for Exodus, so they're just going to be happy with that and just chilling. Yep. And Uber advantage, though, in favor of Mixup, so Ernest they have is to on go. them. They have to go. Mixup has to go right here, and they're not. They have the pick, and I was going to say, before they had the pick, as soon as the Seagull got up, they need to crit buff him uh, and then just go with their Uber advantage. They had 30%. Now they have 3%, 2%, no percent. Um, so now is the worst time to go, and it looks like they are just not even doing anything they're just sitting here looking at the it there's some sticky traps defensive sticky traps i guess they're trying to make sure they don't lose another which is also a good way to play figure hey we'll just get them in the next side of the half uh, and it looks like xds with control of the middle are trying to get something going here they do pop uber it is an it uber battle exchange everybody's shooting rockets at invulnerable players so nobody's dying Randall's finally going to get a kill onto a seagull, and that's going to be pretty big. Soldiers are going to kiss over in the upper battlements by IT, and Mela's going to get hard blue. Platinum, though, coming in, takes down one, but who cares about Platinum? Badonski's going to take down two. And now the scouts are capping. They're leaving one, so I guess time is an issue here as the scout meta combo is pushing in. Can Enigma halt the push completely? Uh, he might be able to do just that, and spawning Platinum is going to take down the Fragile. But he takes down Enigma. We have spawns from the mix-up team. There is a scout on the point. Blue members all surrounding red. Only the medic left alive. He goes down. Time six on the point. And squeaking out a cap is Exertus. What a g At the half, look at that. There, there's the good half coming in from both teams. What a round. That was just really well played by Exodus. They were just, you know, slowing the game down. Like, they should have done on the um, right icon, just slowing the game down and just forcing Mixup to make mistakes. And, you know, 
mix up like to be the ones to actually do that, you know, force the other team to make mistakes by, like, you know, doing some suicides and stuff like that and just waiting for them to repush. But you know, after a bit, the time was wearing down for mix up, and you know, Exodus took advantage of that and just played really well. Special mentions to Vinonsky there for uh, just that last cap they got. Um, he came into that last one through rollout, saw that scout going through roll left, trapped him in some stickies, forced that scout to take that undesirable duel, hit a nice pipe on platinum, and as soon as uh, there was some spawns for mix up, sticky those doors, denied those crit hills for Seagull, launched Harblue, and just overall some really solid play on the Xerdus, and you know, it's much better than their Viaduct showing, I think. There must have been 10 seconds left in that round when they capped it. That is unbelievable, and that completely changes the complexion of this match. If you go into the half up 3-1, you only have to win two. The other team has to win twice as many rounds as you do. That is a good feeling, uh, especially being able to just assert your dominance and assert your will on the other team. Get a round cap when you need to get it done. It's That's insane. I can't believe that happened. That is a great play, um, and if they force it to a third map, it's going to be because of that round and their ability to push there. We do see we are in the half. So if you guys are just joining us, want to say thank you for joining us on the ESEA Orange stream all day long. And I do mean all day long. We will be bringing you live TF2 action from, it, the, from the land happening down in Dallas as I gobble on my words there for a little bit. Um, but we are casting the ESEA uh, land finals. Four of the very best teams are down there. They are fighting for the championship title. They are playing for their shot at 14,000 big ones, the biggest TF2 prize pot that I know of. And we are watching the second seed versus the third seed. Currently, XCS and the second seed are in control of the second map. Of course, this is a best of three. They will all be best of threes today. The winner of this match, not this map, this match, this best of three, will go on to play Froyotech. And the loser will go hash it out with Street Hoops. So, we are just waiting in the half here. Um, what does Mixup have to do, Yuki? What, what do they need to change here? Because it looks like they're playing pretty well. But XCS just playing better. I think... Mix up are just going to suddenly fire all cylinders like they did in that fateful Gullywash game I think it was about a week ago against uh, Freya Tech when they were down rounds and just you know, maybe take a casual dump on Exodus. But I don't know, I would like to honestly see Exodus come out with this map win just because I really want to go to third map because I really hate sleeping and you know, I like me some good, you know, fast paced, great TF2. Um, but I don't know, like. I'm talking with mix up. I wish I had some stats so I could see what's exactly going on. I just felt Exodus's Ubers were actually a lot better than mix ups, contrary to Viaduct play, uh, which you know may have changed the tide of what happened. And not only that, their post Uber play by Exodus was just really solid. Like, special, once again, I can't stress it, just Bodonsky just playing a really solid game in the Ubers, doing decent damage. And then when it came to post Uber, he was just hammering down on mix up, just. Not letting them be above, you know, 60% health and just absolutely slamming on that. And yep, look, that shows. I mean, like, he came second to Platinum in damage, but, you know, it's, it's nothing to be ashamed about. I'd like to uh, give big props to all the teams there at LAN, to Freyotech, to Exertus, to Mix Up, and to Street Hoops with uh, a nice showing of skill. Um, I've said it before in the stream today, but. During previous lands, uh, there hasn't been the level of competition that we're seeing here. And yeah, we've seen some 4-0s, we've seen um, some one-sided matches, but uh, all the teams seem to be in it. Uh, it is back and forth. We do see, once again, the non-favorite team to win, despite them being second C. They're in control, they are in control of this map. Um, so it's nice to have that level of TF2. A little bit of a lull there for a few seasons, but looks like we are back. The teams are back, the competition is back. And I can't wait to get into the second half. Yeah, definitely. And there we go. The stats have actually updated. And I was completely wrong. But Donsky top damaging that whole game by a mile. Just absolute phenomenal play. And despite his extremely aggressive play, he only had 12 deaths. That's incredible. Yeah, but Donsky, as I mentioned, um, really a phenom, like a, a phenom, a prodigy that came to TF2 was a scout. And when you played against him, you thought to yourself, who is this guy? He must be somebody from the past. He was amazing, but no. And he decided, hey, I'm done with Scout. I'm going to go play Demo Man. And as you can tell by those stats, just pretty incredible on Demo Man too. So uh, locking it down for his team there. It's nice to see New Blood entering the scene uh, and asserting their dominance. Uh, other stats that I'm looking at, though, Rando, once again, not the highest DPM. Um, they are in control of the match, though. So he's, he's, letting, he's letting his other teammates uh, do the work. 
over on the mix-up side, Platinum, uh, he's got a whole bunch of damage too. He, leading his team, well no, he's not actually, is Enigma leading the team in damage? It looks that way by about two. Well, not two, more than that. I can't add. Like you said, math is hard. But, Platinum not leading the team in damage, gotta think that's one of the reasons why mix-up isn't doing any better. Yeah, um, what, what, one funny stat I'd actually like to point out a bit is, um, the scouts and exodus. Decimate has 14 capture points capped and beat his scout partner on damage by 70 damage a minute. Just thought that was actually a very amusing observation. Alpha, you know, not really having the game that he wanted this time. So hopefully he can pick it up in the second half. Yeah, that's actually a pretty glaring stat that I just glazed over there. Alpha with the 142 damage a minute. You never would be sub 200 at this level of TF2. It, it really, 200 is kind of bad, and anything below that, you're hurting your team. Of course, Alpha has been on Sniper, um, so he's really not going to be putting out those scatter pot shots to up his damage on a minute. Uh, we can see his total is only 4,000, though, so he's not exactly getting it done in the long term there either. So um, I don't believe I've seen too much sniper headshots this uh, this match. So I think I think Yuki they need to they need to just phone in the sniper play and stick with it. But for the full looks like we're gonna roll out our hands. Tyler and Seagull getting some kills on Bonanski and Mail. We completely missed the action. We're busy with those stats, but looks like yep, mix up turning this map match so far into complete 180. Just absolutely destroying Exodus. I was gonna say decimating, but then I realized that would have been awful because there's a play on Exodus called decimate. So, Fragile already bullied back into his spawn because the scout was chasing him. Nick, we're going to cap that midpoint up. Probably actually going to have a decent new event. I wonder if Mixed Up are actually going to try and capitalize on this, knowing that the Fragile wasn't building. Just because, like, it's like, hey, we rolled them on mid so hard, maybe we can still push with this new event. And yep, Platinum poking through this lobby area. See what he's going to be doing here. Uh, pretty standard push coming through this lobby area. Platinum actually going to jump in, we're trying to get a force out of the medic, does get the force of Fragile solo play by Platinum, well played by him, and Tyler just going to hightail out of there with Pablo, and Mela trying to get a force, doesn't get anything done, except a couple of damage, and Zodas really on the back foot here, I mean sure they have this heavy and gun set up, but Donsky does get caught out here, well played by Seagull, just flying through that rollout area as he knew that demo was cold, that he was trying to escape shot on, just flies in behind him, double rocket, smashes him, but there is this level 3 sentry to deal with, but Alpha is moving around now, so it's going to be extremely vulnerable, and yep, there you go, a poor decision there to try and move it as mix up with gearing up for that push, but it does get taken down though, but Tyler flying in on that heavy, but that heavy is still lit, only now just getting taken down, but Exodus just falling to pieces right now, Melee the last one alive, gets a kill on Tyler as he craters, and that's 1-0 in that round, so pretty quick round for a mix-up, just rolling that mid and then just solid play afterwards. Nice comeback round for mix-up, they needed to do that there. Uh, you want to get it over with as quickly as possible, get a round underneath your belt. They did just that. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Siegel right now, who's bombing, high bombing onto Badonski, puts one rocket into him, jumps with 39 HP, 11 HP, gets shot out of the air with Decimate, but not before putting Badonski very, very hurt. Badonski's going to have to get out of the fight for a little bit. Uh, Squitter over on Mela takes him down. Rando's gonna drop to a Tyler rocket. I got my eye on Alpha who's pushing in on the blue surviving members. Gets shot away. That's gonna halt his push a little bit. Mix up still controlling that choke. Tyler's gonna go down to Alpha. Finally comes in and finishes the job. XTS right back at you they say to mix up. And they are in control of the middle point. And a 9% pretty negligible uber advantage. Yeah, just Platinum just committed almost all of his resources to help Seagull try and take down that demo man and they weren't able to kill him and as a result I think that just absolutely must mix up that rollout and not only that Exorcist both their scouts actually just stayed alive the whole rollout while one of um mix up scouts has died I believe that was Enigma and funnily enough I just followed Alpha as he was trying to go back and go hey I want to go sniper but Exorcist were like nope running your scout deal with it you're not going to try and snipe this time we're going to just try and push standard classes and see how we go so hopefully you know, see a clash of Ubers very soon and see a good. Oh, no, never mind. Alpha just completely defied what I said and he's gonna run back to spawn and go sniper. Do. One can sympathize because you're on land and you have that zero latency and it just feels so smooth and good. And I know I'd want to go sniper, but I think I agree with you. Alpha should be scout right now and the stats would also agree with both of us. 
Um, but we'll click it over to Alpha when he gets in position here to see exactly what he can get done doing. Of course, XTS are up 3-1 to one in the half, uh, so they really can play around with whatever they want to do. Park the bus, as it is called. Alpha deciding to jump on top of middle. Has a good sight line through the crack there, able to look at the spire point. But he is going to move over to IT, and he already took that first shot. And as I was saying before, the first shot is so important because the other team doesn't exactly know you're in sniper yet. You might be able to get the medic while he's sleeping. But now they know, and they're going to play aggressive because of it. Tyler is going to come in, and the mover is popped for the blue team. Red team are going to pop it. Alpha lands a headshot, so that's going to put enough damage onto TLR for Decimate to clean up the frag. In come the FTS team, and then out they go because Mixup is looking just a little bit too dug in there. On the spire, so in the end, it's a wash, Yuki. Yeah, it's definitely a wash. Just pockets are traded, it was traded, it was even right now. So, just gonna see Exertus just holding that mid point, see what they can do here. Maybe Alpha can string up a chain of headshots or body shots and you know lead his team into you know taking the second point because that's what the sniper's there for. You know, paving way for his team, getting a good pick. That's why we have those utilities for. Otherwise, you just run a spy or a heavy or something silly as. We're gonna see the cow sniper come out from squids, so looks like they're mix up uh believing in you know, potential you know good counter frags, maybe a good body shot on fragile to you know drop his Uber. Or I don't know, like I probably would prefer to them just see be a bit see them be a bit aggressive with these uh you know, stock classes and just you know at the post Uber just get some picks and just work off that. But yeah, they're gonna just try with the sniper, see what they can do. Squid poking that check. Oh! Well, there you go, he kills Mela. <laughs> He's gonna pave the way for his team. Almost gets a headshot on Bodonski, just misses it. Taking a lot of damage, but Platinum and Tyler quick to back him up there. Uh, Seagull jumping in, trying to get in from behind, doesn't get much done there, unfortunately. But, um, Mix Up just gonna back out there anyway, that's fine. His Ubers are traded on both sides. Tyler getting an Uber uh, airshot on Uber player for his troubles of the Uber's trade, and not really much happening. Both soldiers kind of just hugging each other, not really much happening. And, uh, oh, just gonna see a reset. So once again, another watch, but, uh... Yeah, and the sniper play looks like the worst idea until it works. Of course, Squitter is just gonna be like, I'm just gonna go sniper and try- Oh, I got a headshot, that's cool. Um, Alpha, you might wanna do that. But, Alpha still on sniper, Squitter went back to scout. Uh, so, and again, like you said, XDS maintaining control of that middle point. They are working through IT, and so is Alpha, who's got the charge for a walk. He is walking it completely. Oh, he sees a soldier. I don't know how he knew that soldier was there, but he did it and body shots him down. So that's one way to kill him. Uh, now a second frag for Rando onto TLR, and we have the cap coming in for Exertus. Now Alpha can push up and try to get a bead on that medic. Uh, maybe get some cute little sniper play. See, the demo man goes for the toe shot. Not going to work out for you there. He's got those stickies in his way. I'm going to keep it on Alpha. Because the uh, it's all on him, it's all on you. Watch the shutter door, please, because that's where they come from. Uh, but he's gonna think better of that and get out of there. And we've entered the next flood zone. XDS have bought themselves second, and we are in an Uber versus Uber standoff in the next area. And now XDS need to push last. Yeah, I guess we're just waiting for that snack. Big poking through the app. That's the full body shot, Enigma. Enigma. Making, uh, not being fully overhealed there, so that was a you know, misplay by him. As the early Uber pop from Rando and the Fragile, they're gonna just use Uber just to try and get in there. And Alpha gets picked off by Seagull from behind, but Seagull does get taken down by Bodonski, so that's fine. Exodus are living to that post Uber, but mix up, I gonna have the mana advantage because Enigma did die early and just spawned just now. Mana flying and trying to get some stuff done, but doesn't really happen for him, unfortunately. Fragile getting a kill at least, so that's something, but um. Unfortunately, that was, like, the idea was sound by Exodus, it's just the execution was not quite there. Concerning that Uber push, all I can say is nope. You, you don't you don't pop the Uber early when you have a sniper who hasn't gotten a pick yet. Because um, you are going to be down in Uber advantage after the other team pops. You're going to be down in damage capability, down in mobility, uh, and you're never going to win that fight. So uh, they find themselves back now on the middle point because they lost second with that poor Uber decision. Mix up now with a 20% uber disadvantage. We're back to holding second. Alpha finally says, I'm just going to go scout and build an uber. Because um, that, that could be useful. And uh, things are going to reset again. Decimate getting cheeky over by the choke. And it's just a spam battle. So, team minus 10 seconds until Alpha goes to sniper. <laughs> um, but right now, he's going to be poking this IT area right now. Actually, extremely aggressive poking. Poking up there to the top side of the battle, it's a soldier just attempt to come flying in. I believe that was Mela, but 
Beefs just jump or something for I believe it was Rando, it was one of them. One of them tried to just do some sick flying through that low wall there, low ceiling. Doesn't have much luck. So yep. Reverting back to a bit of a stalemate. Um I mean it's probably a decent amount of time left still, so I guess sparking the bus is not necessarily the best option. And yep, there we go, Alpha going back to sniper now, as we all predicted, as we all knew it was gonna happen. Uh, I wonder if mix up know this and they're like, hey, you know, maybe we can have a chance to push now. He's gone back to spawn, but nope, they didn't get that unfortunately, so it's a bit of a reset. Sitting on this second point, just very passive positioning, kind of giving that sniper a bit of room to you know, snipe, I think. Yeah, XCS needs to be careful here. Badonski's been playing very aggressive, poking in uh, to get some spam, and they weren't bringing the medic with them. Now they are fully with their team. Alpha is being supported by everybody in sewer. I like this play. They can just support him as much as they want, form a cocoon of friendship and bodies and health around. Alpha with that full charge, looking around for blue bodies, but where are they? Oh, there's a demo man, and he connects with the headshot to finally open up the door. Like I said, looks like the worst idea until it works, and it worked right there. Uh, XDS are coming in. They get a second frag onto Squitter. Now we have a guy on the point for the red team, and it is... Gonna be stopped by Tyler, who is joined by a blue Uber medic. Still though, XTS too strong, swimming around on the second point. Tyler grabs a frag. Tyler grabs a second frag on the rando. Is Tyler gonna do it? Puts a rocket into that scout. Scout at 22 HP. He's joined by another alpha with the headshot onto platinum. He's opening it up for his team. Only a seagull left on the cap point. He's bombing in. Not able to get that rocket onto the medic. And XTS finally Yuki in a very stressful and chaotic battle on second are gonna cap it. I think Xerxes should be slowing down a bit. Mix up again some good spawns right now. This is be an unwise push right now. And yep, sure enough, they drop the scout and demo man. So Mix up are probably going to push off that, especially since Alpha is sniper and not scout. So yep, they're going to get a pick on him on this right side, take him down. And Xerxes sure they have a new advantage, but Mix up are going to recap that point. And that was just overzealous play by Xerxes. Just thinking, just because they had uh, that player advantage, they could push into last. They should have known the spawns were coming up very soon and end up losing that second point so forced back into this midpoint and got some spawns coming for Exodus now though so maybe we'll see a mix up over a bit too much as Platinum jumping on that left crate supporting that soldier as the Uber is forced and Endo jumping in hard so many low players in mix up does take down the medic as well as Tyler well played by him they just both actually crate her I believe so well played by Rando actually chasing at the right time Rando with a play of plays, super bombs into Harblue, pops him up way into the air, and as Harblue was surfing away, shotties him to where when he landed on the ground, he cratered. I want to see that one in a frag vid. Nice play from XCS. And you know, we've been laying it pretty heavy on XCS as we have a back ab, excuse me. Sky High is on the point. He's going to take it down Rando, not before the Exertus members are able to cap second. And like I said, we've been laying it on Exertus, but... They've been pushing Mixup back and forth to their last. They haven't been capping last, but they're not letting Mixup do anything but defend second. And you can't win rounds when you're defending second. Uh, so for all the, the hurt we've been putting on Exorus, they're doing a pretty good job here. Uh, but that bombing play from Rando was solid and top-notch. Yeah, Mela gearing up for Bond right now to sit on this right side with this full overheal, but nothing's better of it. Just backs off in towards the sewer. Not trying to spam, ends up shooting the wall. So I'm not really much happening there. I think Exodus are just going to give up this midpoint, which they're happy to do, as a decent Uber advantage on Harbour, so they're not really going to want to be too far forward, and risk of, you know, losing this round. And Seagull with the triple jump, flying in high. Everyone's wondering, where did he go? Soaring to the skies. He's actually landed up the sewer. Uber's been used on Mixup side. Alpha doesn't get taken down, but I think that's all Mixup are going to get, just that one pick, which Exodus are more than happy for, because they're on last, and we have a pause, so... 90 seconds in the future, something happened. The ever elusive and worrisome land pause. Um, it's not a connection problem. It's going to be either like an extreme bathroom emergency or a hardware problem. And usually they're pretty bad uh, if it's causing you to pause on land. Hopefully we don't have to reformat someone's computer like happened oh, uh, Jesus. a few times. Oh, not a few times. I should say one time a few lands ago. Um, but we do see that we are paused. So let's let's theory craft a little bit here. Uh, we do see that the fragile is at 85 percent, uh, 85 percent. He's got a 72 percent advantage. The entire mix-up team is over on that cap point, capping it up. Does XDS know their advantage? You got to think they do. And if so, with Alpha dead, are they going to be able to push out and get something going with it? I think Alpha should be spawning relatively soon. I think Exodus. 
the aim of Uber shouldn't be to get so many frags. It's just like, you know, use Uber to force mix up back, like collectively. Don't let any leaks get past. Just be solid with that Uber. Be the rock, I guess you'd say. And just cap that point and just force mix up to, you know, have to try and take the second point again and just play off that. Cause... Oh, goodness. I have some breaking news from our cameraman. Uh, apparently, this is a quote, apparently five of Mixup's computer shut off simultaneously. Uh, um, so maybe a little bit of sabotage happening down in LAN. I don't know how you score this or how you reset this up with the situation. How do five computers shut off simultaneously? Sounds like somebody tripped over a wire, uh, but that is not good. We're going to have some rebooting. Um, and I believe some figuring out of situations to 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 uh, deal with as as rigged gets spammed in chat certainly sounds rigged to me, but uh, Yuki, not a good thing. Yeah, definitely not a good thing, especially when they've just capped the second point. Exodus can. I wonder if they'll do the mana thing and you know, let mix up get to the second point again. But you know, this is for money, so maybe not. But I don't know. We'll just wait and see. I mean, I. I don't really mind either decision they make. It may not necessarily be their fault, so they're just trying to play the game. They're just trying to win, you know, so... I mean, don't think they'd be the kind of people to do that just for some money, but... Eh, I don't know. I guess we'll just see what happens, and hopefully... Um... I don't know. Actually, no, to be fair, this is happening 90 seconds in the future, of course, so... This push could have happened by now, so I'm actually just saying stuff completely wrong, and I should smack myself. Yeah, uh, two things could have happened. Mixup could have just steamrolled in and, and killed everybody before Xerxes got Uber, capped the point, uh, and now they are closer to not losing the match. Or XDS pushed out, and it's a you know it's the round continues, and then everybody's computers shut off. I want to know who the one Mixup member whose computer didn't die is, because that I mean, yeah, right. It, it's, it's, <laughs> it's someone else who's uh, been paid by the opponent team to just uh, sabotage everyone on his own team, um, but. Rather than sit here and, and, and just smash our heads against the wall trying to figure out exactly what happened, I'm going to say to our cameraman, why don't we go ahead, run a few ads, uh, and once we get the lowdown and exactly what's happening, we'll bring back the action to you guys. Oh, 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 getting the word that it's only going to be five minutes. Um, well, that's good then, I guess, Yuki, that it's only only going to be five minutes, which isn't which, as far as pauses go, is kind of on the, uh, you know, the good side of not killing us. Yeah, no, definitely. So I guess, I don't know, we can do some more thinking and just try and think into the future what's actually happened with this push. I'm just going to assume that Exodus actually push out, they don't overcommit, they don't lose too many, they maybe kill a few, and they cap second, and mix up push in afterwards, and that's where it happens. That's complete guess. I'm not informed or anything. That's just me throwing wild stuff in the air. I'm probably wrong, but I don't know. That's what I'm leaning towards. So we'll just wait and see. And meanwhile, look, look at the process. Look at the weather. Isn't it lovely? Look at the sun in the sky. It's so nice. It's perfect time for Seagull to be flying around the map and just doing 27 rocket jumps, I think. All right, well, apparently, as expected, things are going to go a little bit longer. So while people figure things out, we're just going to do the smart option and decide to run some awesome, awesome ads for you guys, uh, give you some words from our sponsors. Uh, so enjoy those, guys. We'll be back. Enjoyment matters.
Oh, so we're back. Hello. Hi. Um, so, can I get a word from our cameraman? Does that mean that we they're fixed? Everything's done? All right, so we're just back. Um, so why don't you go ahead, Kurt, run that straw, straw poll, if you will. Because uh, Alpha is dead, and I'm very curious to that point myself. Um, so I want to see what you guys think, what class Alpha will be. Go ahead and uh, work that for me. As again, if you are just joining us, we are stuck in the second map of the of the uh, second round of XTS versus Mix Up. Mix Up took the first map by a score of four to zero. We are now on the second map, and Exertus is running it by a score of four to one. Uh, things are definitely going in. Oh, not four to one. Is it three to two or four to two? I guess some. So I guess some camera love. Three, no, four to two. No, four, three to two, four three to two, two, three to two, three to two. We'll go with that. Three to two, three to two. All right, so I was just saying, but the major point is that Exertus are still in the lead. Uh, they are, are putting Mix Up in a corner for the most part up until disaster struck and all of Mix Up's computers have shut off except one who we don't know who that lucky member is, so they are currently plugging things back in figuring out what went wrong uh you hate to see that kind of tragedy happen on land but you know it happens so you just got to deal with it mix up was pushing uh exertus is second and they haven't done that in about 10 minutes uh so it'll be interesting to see what the uh higher ups decide to determine in terms of where mix up needs to uh position themselves are we going to just restart the round are we just going to let one team have their uber that they had or, or pop uber and try to get close to it it's a very sticky situation Yuki, so uh, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, no, I definitely wonder how they're going to play it out. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised to see some mana play come out of Exodus and maybe just wait a while before they push, but I don't know. Just, I guess, wait and see. We can theory craft all we want. And here we go. Apparently, it's probably Shade stumbling over something. Uh, that that could have happened. Or it could have just been someone turning on a toaster. I mean, <laughs> I've been trying to do some. I've been streaming myself lately, just to segue a bit, and uh, someone turns on toaster, and it looks like we're back! Someone turns on toaster and I lose power, so whatever, never mind, no one's turning on toaster right now, we're back, and Exodus from last, and we're gonna see what they're doing here. Well, I'm really confused, are we seeing something that, that's about to go horribly wrong? Like, is the other, are they gonna disconnect, or, yeah. cause... Right? Like, aren't, shouldn't they disconnect in, in a few, like, 30 seconds? So, I guess we'll just cast the action until either something goes horribly wrong or it doesn't. Um, Rando's gonna take down Platinum, Squitter gets Alpha. I'm just in the back of my mind, I'm just predicting just extreme tragedy to happen. Uh, but it looks like XTS are capping the point. Uh, Uber is up for mix-up, and they're gonna pop it, but are they gonna get any kills with it? I don't know. Uh, any second now, they might be leaving. Tyler takes down Rando, oh. and there it is. There is the tragedy. Uh, that we all knew was coming, so it'll be interesting to see oh what happens. God. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's, I mean that's very amusing. And there they go. There they go. They're I told gone. You, I told you it was squid. I told you. I knew it. Squid survives. Oh, I feel so good. I knew that. How did I know? Just team of all people. Who would have thought? Oh, sorry, anyway, must... it took a little yeah. while, but he must be feeling pretty good about that, but at the same time, he's like, well, shit, I was the only one alive, oh well. But, um, Exodus coming up on that 100% Uber charge, they're poking up through this lobby area, going towards that battlement to that Uber, see what Rando can do, but he's being left by himself. Mine health just goes down. Hmm. I think that was just bad communication between Medic and Soldier there, as uh, Rando just walks out, trying to have a look, and just gets destroyed. No Uber pops, so... Oh, looks like Exodus are just on that last point right now. Alpha gonna switch out to the sniper. So that double U tool coming out for Exodus. Heavy end sniper, solid defense, and we're gonna see what um see what they can do. Looks like apparently Platinum is playing Romo, the names are all over the place for me, so that's great. Yeah, uh some things have been switched up. I, I guess the team they just got on whatever classes they could immediately and just say like let's just try to do something. Hard blues on scout, I think he's on medic. Uh, when they disconnected, I'm sure they just had to get right back into the game. A, a very sad turn of events. Um, now Alpha's gonna take down Tyler, the Devilman, by the way, uh, for the blue team. Uh, so I, 
like, how does this work? Because as you die, you want to switch off classes and get back on your mains, but obviously you're going to be staggering your death. So Mela's going to take down Platinum. Uh, in comes Exertus. They pop the Uber. Uh, blue Uber is going to be reciprocated. Tyler and Platinum are dead. That is the Demo Soldier Man on separate class, different classes this time. Squitter, though, is still Mela on Scout. Behind. And, he yeah. and he doesn't. He only does is kill a scout and a lot of picks in favor of mix up. Heavy is still alive though, but what does that matter? Scout coming behind, doing some good damage. Another scout coming in, as well as Demon Man entering. That's going to be a cut for mix up, so not phased by that disconnect at all. And they're going to clap and taunt all over that cap, and it's going to bring us to an even game, Lord Sire. Over in chat, I just posted a video, a live video, courtesy, well not live video, but a video that just happened, courtesy of Shade. A um, little bit of fun happening in the break there, but yeah, we do see mix-up. They do take a round, even though it was a pretty ridiculous turn of events here. Do we have players back on their normal classes? No, they're just going with it. Enigma's still on the Medic, Platinum still on Pocket, and you know, this, these, they're all good at every class, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Seagull's gonna take down Mela, because he's still on the Soldier Man. Tyler takes down the Fragile, so down goes the Medic, and maybe mix-up figured something out here. Platinum takes down Randall, Platinum takes down another. This is incredible, Yuki. They're just switching classes and still continuing to assert their dominance. Alpha now in on to Tyler, who gets the cannonball out and takes down Alpha. But Noski's just going to be very impressed, but then put a pipe into Tyler for his efforts. And now he's the last one left alive. I wonder if they just drop to different computers because, like, there's those two scouts with the exact same scout loadout, and Harbour's got his loadout. But yeah, it's just an STV bug. Yeah, I figured as much. So um, there we go. Unfortunately, we weren't. Seeing them playing different classes, but let, moving along, mix up moving in through this IT area, just pushing with that Uber advantage. Meanwhile, Melee in a decent spot to gank them as Uber is forced early. Melee not gonna have much luck trying to catch someone off as the Uber was flashed. Uh, jumping away, all of Exodus, but Melee does get picked off in the end, and mix up gonna cut that point. But Exodus obviously now with that Uber advantage because their med medic escaped safe and sound, so holding that second point. It's a 3 all game, so there's no parking available for them this time. Uh, Exodus or Mixup obviously need to be doing something here if they want to come out with the win on this map. I'm just so sad that we don't have these uh, players. I guess I'm happy for them that they're on their main classes, but I'm, I'm sad for myself that uh, we don't get to see the, this awesome mix-up <clears throat> of the mix-up roster. Uh, but like you said, both teams need to get into the action because it is a three-all game. The Uber is going to be popped. Fragile was forced by Seagull bombing in. Who else? Mela gets a frag, got the TLR. Alpha collects on Platinum. The red team are trying to recap here. Enigma, well not Enigma, <laughs> Hard Blue at 80%. It's building out on the second point. They will be able to leapfrog this Uber with a 65% advantage. XCS in the meantime, Rando trying to move up, trying to take out this scout over by the choke. It's not to be as he is pushing in. Tyler dunking on Mela there as Mela tried to put some jump. Tyler having none of that, just a solid air shot. And yep, and we are, we're just having a game, constant game of back and forth. Just this midpoint, just highly contested, just some hot potato, if you will. Just going between one team, then to another, then to the other again. And there you go, but Monty with the bait, sticky trap. Tyler trying to jump forward and zone the other team out. Does get punished by this. And one thing of note is actually Platinum has switched to the cannonballs, so. Hoping for some sick cannonball love, gonna double bonk some people and send them flying into Africa and just destroy them. But um, looks like Exodus pushing in through this IT area if I hear correctly. Yep, Rando jumping in through that IT area. Bedonski on 28 health, so he's not really gonna be able to support anytime soon. So Exodus need to hightail out of there if they want to survive for this post uber. As it looks like Seagull jumping in through the choke, gonna land on this scout. Takes down Decimate, Bedonski on 60 health in the sewer. Alpha does eventually take down Seagull for his massive spree as... Right now, Exodus is regrouping right now, just seeing what's going on. Bedonski still low on health. Melo getting destroyed by Tyler, I believe that was. These names are throwing me off, as <laughs> Bedonski and Fragile are the only ones to get out, and mix up all alive right now. I think only one of the players just spawned. Yep, and that is... Uh, I don't even know who that is. Seagull, because the name's everywhere, and... Looks like Mixup is going to try and push it here because the spawns aren't coming up to see it. Here we go. Mixup barreling in through right now. Heavy is upload to delay them. And Mixup going to try and get out of here with minimal losses. They only lose one scout, so that's going to be alright for them. Because actually, they going to lose another scout too, so that's not so bad. Losing two scouts could be worse. It would be better if they lost like a scout and soldier, say. But Mixup should still be geared to hold this spire point. Blood style. Yeah, and whoever takes this next cap, if you do see the blue Uber is popped, whoever takes this next cap, it's going to loom large because of all the time we wasted going back and forth and back and forth, time and a half has to be running out. I got my eye on a seagull who's over in rollout, finds a scout off, is going to take him down. Mix up still with control of the second point. Our hunting 
the surviving XCS members. Take a look at Squitter, I believe, over in rollout. That was Enigma, actually. He's gonna back up because he does not have the bodies, and XCS was spawning up. But, like I was saying, Yuki, with all the time that we took in that back and forth with uh, XCS parking the bus on middle, running sniper, time in this second half must be running out. Of course, if it is a three all tie at the end of the half, we will go into golden cap, I believe. But until then, the next cap is going to be very, very big. Let's see what Mixup decides to do here. They do have the Uber charge, and they pop it right away, going in with the left side. Followed in from Platinum. Platinum in already, putting out those cannonballs, not able to connect. The blue Uber is on the point, and it doesn't matter, because there are a lot of bodies who grab it. Mixup, so iconic to their game style, is just aggressively jumping on that point. They do that to the surprise of Exertus, and they cap it up. And like I said, they're in the winner, the winning, uh, the winning seat here. This could be it. Yep, the pick on that demo man, just so the demo man couldn't sticky the point, and they just barreled onto that point. It's two soldiers spamming, isn't going to be enough. But we're going to see this rollout, but don't be forced back really early by Platinum. Not even be able to get this med kit yet, but uh, jumps by both soldiers, kind of just training hands to each other, high five if you will. Uh, not really much happening, there we go, Mela finally the one to jump in first and get taken down. Badonski, a nice pipe taking down Enigma. This is the real Enigma now, we've got the names working properly. Uh, trades on both sides, but mix up getting the favorable and fragile on alpha are gonna be escaping But platinum having none of that quick jump coming in flying in taking down the fragile with the help of his team And that's gonna be a full wipe for exodus only losing a uh, mix up only in losing a scout and a soldier So well played by mix up just strong aggressive play on that midpoint and this round is theirs to lose I think mix up is smelling some blood in the water here that all I need to do is close it out with one more round win, uh, they're coming back from a 3-1 deficit. Now they are up 4-3, pushing second with a full Uber advantage. We have a Sniper Desperation play out from Decimate. Decimate, we haven't seen on Sniper yet. A very competent Sniper trying to get it done here. Uh, but he's going to be forced to back up. And Yuki XCS needs something. They need a big pick. They have to have something here because they are down to their last life here. Their last foot. They are backed into a corner. Heavy is going to be put out by Decimate. And any second now, that mix-up Uber is going to come in. Yeah, here it, we go. Mix-up coming through this lobby right area. But trying to get some love on that soldier. Hey, it does finally get taken down. Body's coming on the point for mix-up right now. But looks like they're getting forced back by that heavy. That heavy was almost completely untouched in that Uber. And he just comes in, mops up. Here we go. Seagull with the big bomb. Jumping on the heavy. Takes him down. Is he getting her cap? Unbelievable, almost does, but you got the mix up combo actually above behind the point right now, and having some sick ulti duo action right now. We're not really sure what we should do. Oh Uber, and God. wow, they just get juggled off the point as they Uber. do their hand. Mm, wow. 99% uh, fragile backs off just to make sure he gets that last percent and avoids the splash damage, but with the medic capping the point and the soldier coming to it, uh, just an oversight. They got off the cap for the smidgen of a second to get uber they popped it but nobody was there to defend the cap and that's gonna be your game mix up will advance as predicted to play froyotech in the upper bracket later on holy cow i can't believe that happened crazy turn of events there in that second half yuki um but i guess the uh, predicted outcome uh happened in the end exodus definitely having a strong showing on this that map um Funnily enough, that disconnect computer issue, whatever you want to call it, with Mixup didn't actually phase them. If anything, it kind of phased Exodus. Maybe they got a bit complacent or something. In any case, Exodus coming out with win. Uh, not Exodus. Mixup coming out with the win there. Both the teams have an X in the name. It confuses the hell out of me. Um, just yeah, well played by Mixup. Just strong, aggressive player all around. Good recovery from uh, the three-one deficit from the first half, and just just showing that why they are the favored uh, team to win this land. Absolutely. And of course, they will be meeting Froyotech later on in the upper bracket. I believe we will be bringing you the lower bracket next. Um, any last words you want to say, Yuki, before we throw it on to break and uh, get some uh, casting shifting going on here? Uh, definitely can't wait to see the rematch for Mix Up and Froyotech. Hopefully, I don't pass out. I'm pretty sure T there will be popping in at some point, so that'll be cool and. Then I can grab some beauty sleep, but at the same point, I'll probably just, if I do get dismissed, I'll probably just be in bed with my phone just watching the game anyway. So I guess shout out to some great TF2 and good showing by Exodus. Just showing that um, on push maps, they seem to be a bit more at home. Um, and they do definitely have what it takes to put up with a big 
with the big teams and just, you know, fortunate for them they weren't able to win. But they're going to be in lower bracket. They're going to be against Street Hoops. Uh, I don't know. I guess who do you favor in that matchup? Oh, I'm going to have to say Exertus. Uh, they impressed me here versus Mix Up. I think they'll have it. Uh, they'll, have, they'll win the lower bracket, I think. Okay, I guess there's the potential for the rematch if Mix Up do end up falling to Frogatech, but obviously there's just speculation. We'll wait and see. But um, yeah, that was a great game to watch and pleasure to cast. Well, I want to give a internet high five to you, Yuki. You staying up with us, uh, giving us the pleasure of your casting, which was delightful. Um, all morning for you, all like it's morning for me too, just at a very different time. Uh, you did a great job. Also, want to give a shout out to our cameraman, Truck Truck, our production leader, Dash Math said Dash. Um, of course, you guys are watching the ESCA Orange Stream, ESCA land finals over in dallas we have two more best of threes to bring to you today tomorrow we'll have the grand final once again thank you yuki thank you to all for watching we're going to take a quick break or a little break and then we will be back with the lower bracket final so stay tuned for that